Does it make more, like, I feel like I need to, like, the way I think about building this website, I'm like, okay, here's the main page, and I want this menu, and then I want this stuff in it. But it seems like it's really hard to build it that way, because you need to have the articles or whatever else, like, goes in the folders first. Like, I feel like I'm supposed to work backwards. Like, I'm supposed to have mm -hmm. all of my text that goes on my, yeah. who uses a personal okay. chef web page, and have that as an article somewhere, and then from there, that goes in a, Category, mm -hmm. which is like a file folder, mm -hmm. and then all of that stuff's in there, and then that goes in a drawer in my filing cabinet, which is a section. Okay, so what it feels so like, it, but, is, may, oh. but maybe, and it feels like that's supposed to be somehow separate from these menu things because the menu is about how this information gets displayed for the world. Okay, so that's that's all correct. All that's correct. So one of the things you can do is let's say. Um, you don't have all your content ready. Who has all their content ready right now? But you want to set up your website, and you want to set up your menu items, and you want to have your links, and you want to see how things are going to look and how it's going to work, right? Is that the situation? Yes. I, yes. OK, that's cool. So there's several things you can do. You can create items, menu articles, really fast, but just like dummy text. Um, if you ever go to, let's open another tab. If you, go to, if you type in, um, let's see, Lipsum. Lipsum.com. You can actually just generate dummy text. You can say, I want five paragraphs, or I want this many words, whatever, and you say generate, and it'll give you random Latin stuff. Yeah, and you can just copy and paste this in. So, I mean, I know it's, it seems kind of counterintuitive, but you can do it really fast. You can create like 10 articles really fast, and there are even tools that will help you do it faster. And then just and give those the right titles, and then change the text later. Does that make any sense? It, it makes total sense. I'm just. I'm just a little frustrated because I feel like I don't really know where I'm going with this. And I, I don't know if I'm working on the content right now or if I'm working on what it looks like. Because it feels like those are two separate things. There is some over, maybe I'm totally wrong, but it feels like Joomla is this one thing that just you put all your stuff in there. Mm -hmm. and then there's a separate thing and you go pick your template and make sure that your stuff goes in it like you want. Okay, well, we're working maybe on, I'm wrong about we're that. We're working on stuff right now because we only have one template that we're looking at at the moment. So we're not looking at design issues. The menus are actually part of stuff though. The, men, the, 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 menu, the names of the menus, the, where they go to, that's all part of your database. It's all part of your information. The fact that the menus are blue or green, that's part of the template. So this part, we're dealing with stuff, okay. content, everything else. And you can, like, this is a very flexible system. You can change everything later. None of this is set in stone. Um, you can create, you know, articles now with, with, with random text if you want to. If you have other text, you can, just, you can just take some notes in the article. Whatever you want to put in there is fine. And just give it a title that, you know, that is relevant or that you think might be relevant. And then you link to it. Um, if you create an article, we're going to go into articles right now and how to edit them in more detail. Okay? So, so everyone go to the back end, go to content, and go to article manager. <coughs> okay. You'll see your four or five articles, whatever you have. We're going to click on new. And we're going to go into some of the options that are here. Okay. So we know from before that every article needs a title. Okay. So just put your title in for your new article. <laughs> In this case, we're not going to publish it on the front page. We are going to put it into a section and a category. <laughs> Bless you. You can be blessed. It's okay. Okay. Yes. Put it in a section and a category. It, it matters if you have, a, you know, if, you're, if this is a real article for you, you should put it in the right category, if you have it already set up. So right now we have product services and about us. So. Okay, so yeah, put it in whatever category you want for right now. You can change it later. <laughs> Has everyone gotten that far? All you've done so far is put in a title, choose a section, and choose a category. Any questions? The next thing we're going to do is we're going to type. Um, now, this doesn't have to be a work of art, but we're going to go over some of these options up here for editing. Okay, so when you hover over these, you will see what it says. Toggle, spell checker, insert, edit image. This is one we're going to use a lot. It looks kind of like a bush inside of a box. Did everyone see that? It's not terribly intuitive. 
picture of a bush instead of a box. Okay, and there's a lot of options here, some of which you will never ever use. And you could turn some of these off actually. But so with some of them are pretty obvious, text color, and just as an aesthetic thing, you want to keep your text the same color. You don't want to have like a multicolored site with purple text all over the place. It's just going to look weird and people are going to be like very unprofessional. Um, background color, which you're not going to use much either. These two buttons are very important. On the left hand side, see it says paste from Word and paste as plain text. You never paste, and this is like one of those important things, you never copy and paste directly from Microsoft Word. Ever, ever, ever. Okay? If you do that, you will be very, very sorry. Bad. Yes. Microsoft Word puts all sorts of weird formatting into its stuff, and if you copy and paste directly in there, you're going to have like formatting problems out the wazoo. And that's what this button is for. It says paste from Word. Click on that button, and you're going to get a box that's going to pop up. And if you've already copied in Microsoft Word, here you just press Control V, and whatever you've copied is going to paste there. And it actually will keep some of the Microsoft Word formatting but without all the crap. So that's what, this is very important to never paste directly from Word. If you don't want to use this thing, then you should copy and paste into Notepad or another text editor before you paste into Joomla. Okay. This is very important. Uh, what was the first oh. number that we learned today? Not use the back button. Yes. Not use the back button. This is the second never, 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 never. Paste from a Word file. It's going to mess everything up. You don't want to do that. And it's very tempting to do, yeah. but you don't, you want to avoid temptation. Yes. But you can paste paste from a web page. No. no. You can, but you're going to end up with like the format. You can, I mean, you can paste from Word too, but it's just your formatting is going to be screwy. It's better to do your own formatting inside of Joomla. If you if you know what you're doing and you're comfortable, you can go ahead. In general, whenever you paste the anywhere, paste it into text first and then paste it into here. The other option here, paste this plain text. If I was pasting from a from a from a web page, I would probably do it and paste this plain text and put it in here. So let's say I go over here, I copy this, I go over here. I go paste this plain text, and I insert it. Okay. And it's a very important point. And basically, the reason for this, if you're pasting from somewhere else, it brings all that formatting from other page or from other word file. It creates uh, inconsistencies <coughs> on your side. So on one side you have green font, on the other one you have red, large font, and things like that. You want to be very consistent and looking professional. So whenever you are tempted to uh, paste something, think, oh man, it will be professional. <laughs> Go ahead. Can we use HTML? Yes, you can use HTML. In fact, you can edit all this stuff with HTML. Um, so that's one of the buttons that are up here, where it says edit code. If you click on this, it's going to show you the code, and you can go crazy. Um, is everyone with us on how to paste? Because I know I said never do this, but is everyone with us as to, as to actually what to do? You always go through notepads. Yes. yes. Yeah, that's what I always do personally, is I do everything notepad. Could you say a word about uh, working with Mac, um, the Mac programs? Is it the same thing? Can you paste into the... Paste into a text editor that doesn't do any formatting, whatever Mac uses, and then paste into here. Or use one of the, you use this button where it says paste this plain text. Okay. So why is there a paste from Word thing if you can't paste from Word? Because it lets it actually preserves some of the formatting from Word, but it gets rid of all the crappy formatting from Word. So if you have something bold in Word and you paste it in here, it's actually going to keep it bold. But we generally still do not recommend it. No, I mean this this is this is okay. If you if you want to paste from Word, use the paste from Word button. Just don't paste directly from Word into here. Okay. okay. So are you, are you going to go over the tree one though? Yes. Of yes. Ah. Mm -hmm. So some of the other stuff you can do is pretty obvious. If you highlight text, you can make it bold. If you highlight text, you can make it underlined. If you highlight text, you can make it italic. Nothing too exciting. In general, you do not want to play with font family, font size, and styles here. Because um, you'll end up, again, with a mishmash of stuff. It's something you want to control, really, in the CSS, and you want to let the, the template take care of it. Um, some of the other stuff that's here, clean up messy code, you're not going to use that. Anchors, if, if you may have seen that if you've worked with HTML before. Cut. Copy. I would never put a smiley face in a website. Some people do, though. They're, they're, they're obviously wrong. Yeah, that's just, that's just very wrong. Um, some of the other stuff, this one's useful. The eraser, it says remove formatting. So let's say your text has just gone completely wacko. You have no idea why it's like underlined and bold, and it's just crazy. It's driving you nuts. So you just highlight it, and you say erase formatting, and then it goes away. That's actually very useful in life. <coughs> 